Eric Carlson here, welcome to Team Summit. And that was Dish Network CEO and President Eric Carlson welcoming you to Team Summit 2019 here on Satellite Guys. And we're proud to show you today what we learned this week here at Team Summit. The big news here this week was Dish Wireless and not really a consumer product yet. What Dish Wireless is, is he's got to build up his network to satisfy an FCC deadline. However, later in 2020, when the 5G spec is officially released, Dish will upgrade their systems to 5G, and they got a lot of cool stuff planned. In fact, I've been told some of the stuff that they're planning on doing, and I can't really say it online right now, but it's a game changer, and no other wireless provider is going to be able to do what Dish is doing. Anyways, let's get to the stuff I can show you, and a lot of consumer stuff, including the Dish Snap. We got a great demonstration there, and we're going to show you the new Air TV products and a whole lot more. So stay tuned, it's coming to you right now. Hi guys, uh, my name is Cece, I'm the product manager for Hopper Snap. Now I'm really um, exciting to show you our new product. The name is Hopper Snap. See, um, this is the size of Hopper, Hopper Snap, it's like a matchbox size, really small. The installation for this is also really easy. It's using the USB port on the back, and then there's two magnets will help securely connect to the hopper. You just connect to the back of the hopper and on the top USB port. Uh, what Hopper Snap can do is it will help like Hopper and Joey. So it up, uh, boost up one hopper and up to three Joeys just using this one device. Um, so the Joey that connect to the hopper through Mocha, and they will all like have the UI performance um, two times faster. So now your hopper run will be even faster than your hopper two. Um, let's see uh, side by side. So for example, we can go to guy screen. And then um, for the left one that using the modern sim is the hopper with snap. The right one is classic sim is hopper without snap. Now let's try to channel up, like scrolling on the guide and see how fast it could be. As you could see, um, the hopper with snap um, is really responsive, but the right one is after a while it stopped and then retrieving information and then go again. Um, so guide is one of the screen that customer use the most. And then the other screen is DVR screen. And let's try to go to DVR screen. And then when you have more um, recording going on, sometimes customers suffer about like a slow response, um, loading your uh, recordings. Now with Snap, um, that situation will greatly uh, improve. Um, let's try guy screen, uh, home screen. There it is. Um, so in the initial phase where um, this is uh, the engineer, like our uh, brilliant engineer's um, idea is offload the UI process to this small um, device on the USB device. Um, the second phase, we're looking on other things to keep improving our customer experience. Um, Hopper Snap will be available in this summer. So for any new customer that has a Hopper One, um, they will have a Snap installed for them. Okay. Thank you. Okay, just let me know when the camera's rolling, because you know I don't have a lot of time for this kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> hello there. Hi, I'm Sven Gooley from MeTV. You see me every Saturday night. We show some of the greatest horror movies and some of the not so great ones. And it's always fun to have you come along. We we do comedy in between parts of the movie. I even do a song, and that's funny because I can't sing worth a darn. But it's a lot of fun. Tune in Saturday nights. It's eight o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock Central. If you're not sure where we are in your market or what time, just go to metv.com, click on where to watch, you put in your zip code and you'll find out all the information. I'd like to thank you, this chicken would like to thank you. Well, I don't think the chicken wants to thank you, but make sure you watch, okay? Thank you, Sengali. If you get the chance to check him out, Saturday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern time on MeTV. He takes the worst horror movies and makes them worse. Is that possible? I don't know. Anyways, we're at Team Summit. Scott Kraskowski here for SatelliteGuys.us. And up next, we have Mitch, who's going to show us a little bit about the new Air TV products being introduced this year from Air TV. Here we go. 
Hi, I'm Mitch Weinrob with Air TV, and we announced a couple of new products here at Dish Team Summit. Um, the first is the Air TV 2. Uh, that's the sequel to our original Air TV device, and it's really all about bringing local signals into the home and distributing it over the customer's Wi Fi to all of the devices in their home, whether it be one of our products or a Roku or a Fire TV stick, um, it basically, or your iPad or your phone. It brings your local channels in, sends them to all of those devices. And one of the neat features is that you can plug a hard drive into it and it becomes a whole home DVR for your local channels with no monthly fees. The other product we announced is the Air TV Mini. It's a dongle-sized Android TV device. It has full access to the Google Play Store, and it has full 4K capability. And basically, it's the device that a customer can, at a very low cost, put on every TV in their house and create a whole integrated cord-cutting experience. They can get access to their Sling TV channels, to their Netflix, um, to their over-the-air channels, and basically anything they can get from the Google Play Store all in one user interface in one remote that controls the TV and the sound bar and makes it really easy to put together a full cord cutter, cord cutter package that feels a lot like um, a traditional TV package but without the traditional TV price. Hi, I'm Lisa Welchel from the Facts of Life, but I have a new show on MeTV called Collector's Call, 10 o'clock, 9 central on Sunday nights. Tune in, you're going to love it. It's so much fun. Thank you, Lisa. Make sure you watch her on Sunday nights, and that's on MeTV on Dish Network. All right, we're going to take it over now to James, and James is going to show you the Google Assistant. It's a Satellite Guys exclusive. You get the first look at the new Google Assistant coming to the Hopper series this summer from Dish. Hey, everyone. My name is James. I'm from the Dish product management team. Uh, I'm here at Team Summit showing off our enhancements we're bringing to voice control on the Hopper family. Um, so we're here in the integration booth. Uh, really focused on uh, voice control as well as home control through DISH. So one of the big announcements is bringing the Google Assistant to our voice remote. Um, we're showing a demo of it here at the show, so I'll walk you through some of the functionality. Um, big changes uh, first before we get into the Google Assistant is that we're changing the look and feel of voice search. So everything you've been able to do with DISH, you can continue doing DISH with voice remote. Show me action movies. You'll see the results are now going to be on the bottom of the screen. Um, and we're going to be showing much more visual results. We're showing metadata. We're showing you uh, our most popular content on Dish. Uh, and you can now browse and select, go into a piece of content. Additionally, you can do, like I said, everything you've been able to do, change channels, uh, pause, play, everything you've, you've come to love with voice control. But the exciting part is that we're bringing Google Assistant. So now you can ask things that previously we might not have had the best answer for. What was the score of the Nuggets game last night? What was the score of the Nuggets game last night? So now you can get pretty rich box score uh, information. You can see the score. You can catch up. You can also say, what's the weather in Denver? So you can get the bad news that it's still cold in Denver, even though it's May. Um, this is all a signed out experience. So there's no need to sign in. Every Dish customer, when this launches, will be able to do all of this and all of the Dish voice control without any, uh, any uh, signing in or authentication. Um, once you do sign in, however, the experience gets even cooler. So you get all of your personal, personalized Google Assistant functionality. Show me my calendar for today. So I've put in our Team Summit events. This is my life here. So we have the expo, we have lunch, um, but this will show you everything you have coming up for the day. You can also say, show me my photos of dogs. Using Google Photos, it'll pull up all of your pictures of dogs that are in your Google Photos account or anything you ask it. It's a very intelligent system. You can then go in, go full screen on any of these pictures, and now take advantage of your beautiful big screen TV to show off your high resolution pictures. So one of the reasons that we have this whole booth set up for this demo is that we're showing off home control. So we're showing that we can control uh, lights within the home and all your other devices. So one of the cool things, back to the Nuggets, activate Nuggets mode. So we've set up a scene. So now, now we have Nuggets colors uh, below the TV. We can get ready for game seven. Um, you can also control the devices like your blinds in the house. 
activate nap mode. Activate nap mode. So we see the blinds coming down and they'll get ready again to take the nap. Um, so we're really excited. There are a number of other things you can do with Google Assistant. It's really bringing the best of Google Assistant's brain to the hopper and making it so that all customers will have access to it. Um, we're also introducing a new voice remote. It's really just a new paint job on our existing voice remote, so all voice remotes in the field will continue to work. But this voice remote shows that we're partnering with Google Assistant and um, that you'll be able to use Google Assistant in your voice remote. Thank you very much. Now every year as part of Team Summit, Dish holds a big expo where lots of people show off their goods, and this year's no different. So right now, through the miracle of editing, there's a lot of different booths here at Team Summit that I want you to see. So take a look. This is Scott Layseth, host of the Dead Meat and Sporting Chef shows on Sportsman Channel. You know, every year at the Team Summit, we do a little something, a little something different, like elk sausage and deer sausage, but on the Sporting Chef show, we do all sorts of fish and game. We have a host of other people that show you how they cook it, from restaurant chefs to Food Network chefs to down-home redneck chefs, and on the Dead Meat show, we get a little bit off the map where we look for things that you wouldn't ordinarily eat. Think of a bizarre foods type of show for the outdoor market. Uh, Nutria, python. Uh, we go to Florida for snake heads and lionfish and stingrays. We're going up to the Canadian Arctic to hang out with the Inuits to do whale blubber, pickled moose snout, and walrus. And doesn't that sound good? Now, of the invasive stuff that we've eaten, people ask me what's the worst thing I've eaten, and that's probably the python. And the best thing by far, and this surprises a lot of people, is beaver. It tastes like good, sweet beef. That's the Dead Meat Show and the Sporting Chef Show on Sportsman Channel. Well, folks, that about wraps it up for us this year here at Team Summit. Thank you once again to everybody who made this trip possible here on Satellite Eyes. I hope you enjoyed our coverage and learned a lot of new stuff about things coming from DISH. You have DISH Wireless, you have the uh, Hopper Snap, the new Air TV products, and so much more. I'm looking forward to the Google Assistant myself. Now I can uh, win arguments from my wife when she tells me I'm wrong. No, that ain't going to happen. She wins them every time, even if I am wrong. All right, we're going to wrap it up now. Scott Kraskowski here saying thank you so much. And hopefully we can do this again in the future. Thanks for being satellite guys and thanks for being here.